And my second dish is going to be a, a traditional Southern American dish called fritters. Now traditionally it's made with corn or potato, but I'm going to be introducing uh, pumpkin into it with black beans and, and red peppers. So this should be very, very nice. Hi. We're going to make a pumpkin and shrimp fritter. Now fritters are a typical Southern American item. They're very popular. And I think they'd be good for the Korean taste. We're going to make it a little fusion by adding some sesame seeds, soy sauce, and some uh, chili peppers. Okay, first you're going to do is take a small pumpkin, cut it. And then we're going to de seed it. So you want to make sure the peppers are thoroughly cooked, um, but not so cooked that they lose their taste or crunch. Um, crunch mm -hmm. is. And then skin it. Part of the bimbap, you have that um, mushroom a little bit. Uh, After we clean it, we're going to take the grater. Great, nice long pieces. We have our two ounces of meat here. Okay, now that we have the pumpkin grated, what we're going to do is add, we're going to cut up our other vegetables. We're going to use sweet bell peppers, pa, and what's going to make this traditionally different is we're going to use, these are cream black beans. They're a little unique than the western ones because they have the green shells on the inside. I, I soak these overnight and blanch them lightly so they're not fully cooked. But they still have a little crunch to them. Okay, we'll pick up our pepper. Yeah. We're not the weight you can see slice along the flat side, as flat as possible. So we just move that around a little. Check on the peppers. Lay them flat. Cut it as flat as possible without cutting them through. Just be careful. All right. So basically, what you want is a nice, even, flat bell pepper. The reason why I want this as fine as possible is that it's going to have to kind of match this. So we basically want it to be within the same size and shape. Okay. Now we got the peppers cut. We're going to cut the pa. Otherwise, if you marinate with In English, we call these spring onions. Korea, they call them pa. But so we're not going to use the whites as much as the greens. So we're going to cut everything once again to a similar size. All right. Now we're ready to go. We got a pumpkin grated, a bell peppers cut, julienne. Uh, green onions, julienne, eh? basically the same size. As I said before, what we're going to do is take a traditional American dish and make it into a fusion cream style dish. And how we're going to do that, we're going to be in these beautiful black beans, right? some, some sweet shrimp, and some sesame seeds. And we're going to mix everything in the bowl. So first, you'll take your pumpkin in. Nice round. So the peppers, uh, look at the colors you're getting here, huh? Look at the color. Before you go on, we're gonna mix it gently. You don't ready. want to break anything up. Take our flour, cut it into uh, small slices. Half a cup. So, Half a cup of water. Put it into two halves so I can take out the tip and go there. Still keep it in the shell. Take a knife. Cut it lengthwise. Just like that. Now we're going to add our ingredients. Black beans. So, once we've done that. Oh, that's so pretty. That's pretty. Shrimp, which we're going to drain. And squeeze. Gently squeeze if there's a lot of liquid. A little soy sauce, which we can add right to our batter. Have a last, uh, a 
last? Not too much, because it is it is a salty item. Green onion. Mix well. Uh, uh, now that we added all our ingredients, we're going to get going. We'll take some oil. Next, we're going to take our uh, sizzled meat. It looks like a lot, but this is because it is a fried. The term fritter means fried. You take our dry ingredients, dry jelly mix. Then take with the same bowl you can use the egg again. Lightly keep the egg. Yeah. I'm looking at the moisture content. I'm going to add half of this. Make it, give it that uh, traditional look that we usually have. So, fire up. That's about what you're looking for. That type of liquid. Fold everything in. You don't want to do this kind of messing in there. You want to just fold it in because you don't want to break everything up. And when, when it's that kind of consistent, that's fine. You don't want this is actually called folding. Fold in the ingredients. Then use about you can use those to scoop up the sauce almost any size you want, but this is a pretty size. Push everything up. Hot pan, a little oil. Press them down. Get underneath them, put them all over. Yeah. Now, as that's cooking, since, since it is a fried item, Okay, when they're lightly brown, we're going to pull them out, put them on the, the bed of lettuce, take some sesame seeds, and nice, and put a lot on it, because I tell you, I love sesame seeds, and I like to chink eat them, I like that taste, and there you go, a traditional American dish made with some Korean items that everybody will enjoy.